South Africa is a water-scarce country and is expected to become hotter and drier in the upcoming decades. Protecting our precious rivers and wetlands requires information on the health of these systems and how they are changing. It's easy to underestimate the effort it can take to collect a single data point. But these data hold the key to managing our freshwater ecosystems for both people and biodiversity. Researchers pull in their net after leaving it out overnight to sample freshwater fish species in the Doering River. And to their delight, the sample contains a Clan William sandfish, an endangered migratory species found in the Doering River and nowhere else on Earth. Total length 570. <laughs> Four length 510. Okay. Cecilia is doing her PhD on the ecology of the sandfish and uses the data point in her thesis. But after the work is done, our hard-earned data points are easily forgotten. A real shame since there is so much to be gained by recycling and reusing our data. But what if there was a way to prolong the lifespan of a data point? Freshwater Biodiversity Information System brings together data that was previously lost and unavailable and unaccessible and suddenly now we have this, this platform where literally at the click of a button you've got access to almost half a million data points that hopefully can be used and repurposed and make a difference in protecting our ecosystems. A happy place where data points can come together and thrive. A place where data points can finally realize their full potential. At the end of the day, better data means better decisions. And better decisions lead to healthier ecosystems with invaluable benefits for both people and biodiversity.